Welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are continuing with the series Numerical Methods for Engineers and this is the second lecture and that is on if else and if else ladder. This particular course is designed for engineering students of Macau, JU, CU, NIT, IITs and also for other groups. Before moving on to the main discussion, here is something about myself and I request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates on engineering mathematics and related courses. In this slide, I show you the relation between if else and numerical coding. In our coding, sometimes we have we have to reach to a state where we have to take a decision. If it is positive, if it is true, then we move to a certain direction. If it is not true, if it is negative, we move to some other direction. And in these cases, we have to define if else. I have taken a simple example. Suppose we have to calculate logarithm of x and we know that x cannot be negative when we are calculating log logarithm. So we make a decision making step. But the condition is we have to check whether x is less than 0 that is positive or negative. If it is less than 0 then we move to certain direction. If it is not less than 0 then we move to other direction. I have taken a simple algorithm here. We insert a number before the execution step we check whether x is less than or equal to 0. If it is true that is x is less than or equal to 0 or it is negative then we print logarithm of a negative number is not possible else we go to the execution step we calculate logarithm of x and then we print the value of log x. We have taken a simple code here uh, initial lines are the header files we have taken two header files hash include stdio.h hash include math.h this math dot h is required because we are calculating logarithm of x for this particular line this math dot h is required here uh, we have taken an integer number so we'll put an integer uh, and we'll calculate the logarithm of that number and that logarithm can be in fraction that is why we have taken float b is as uh, b is a float then uh, we print that enter an integer uh, then we store that integer uh, and go for a checking uh, about the number if the number is less than 0 we print you enter the negative number uh, and we print the number else we go to the execution step and then we execute it I'll show you this code this here is the code I go to uh, execution column and click on compile and run so it is asking for an integer let me put 5 so you can see logarithm of 5 is being calculated and it is shown here on the screen. Now we again run the code and let us put a negative value. So we put minus 3. So it is showing you entered a negative number so logarithm calculation is not possible. So if else, if else has taken the decision and it is showing you that logarithm is not possible because you have entered a negative number. So this is an example of uh, if else. Now we move on to another example. Uh, this is another simple one. In this case, only if is taking. If there is only one checking, then you can go for only if else is not required. Like uh, in this code, we have taken a number, we um, have read that number and then we have checked whether number percent 2 is uh, equal to 0 or not. That means if it, ha it has a remainder, then it will give you, uh, it will not give you 0. Uh, if, it is, if, if it does not have any re remainder, then it will give you 0. So by that way, we can check whether the number is even or not. If it is divisible by 2, then it is uh, the integer is an even number. If it is not divisible by 2, obviously it will be an odd number and that is what we are checking here. So we will directly go to the code. Here is the code. I will execute it. So it is asking for an integer. Say we put 7. So nothing is being shown that is uh, it will not tell a, a even number because 7 is not a even number. Now uh, we enter say 6. It is showing that 6 is an even integer. So we are checking whether the integer is even or not. Uh, we have taken only if and that is why it is checking whether it is even. If it is even it is uh, telling you it is an even number otherwise it is not taking any decision. We have not taken any else here. Now we'll move to other code 
where multiple checking is required and then the ladder is coming into the picture and the ladder it looks like I'll show you here this ladder looks like if else if else if if uh, yeah so in this particular case uh, I'll directly go to C code and will tell you about the code you can see here we have taken a header file and in the main function we have taken two integers one is number one and the other is number two then we are asking for two in integers this is for uh, users they can uh, see the, um, the this thing uh, on screen that enter two integers so whatever integer a user uh, um, user enters that will be stored as number one and number two and then we are checking these things suppose the first checking is if number one is equal to number two uh, then it will print that person d is equal to person d number one number two that means number one is equal to number two Th that is the first checking whether number one is equal to number two or not then under else if we check another thing whether number one is greater than number two if it is true then the control will move on to this printf and it will print that number one is greater than number two if that is false it will go to the next step that is else here we are now if these two things are not true we are directly concluding that first number is less than the second number now this is a simple code in your real case you may need several else if else if so after if you can put multiple else if and you can put multiple conditions and then uh, else and you can end the code now we will execute this particular code we go to execute click on compile and run you can see it is asking for two numbers let me put two similar numbers say 5 and 5 you can see a uh, result is showing 5 equal to 5 now we again run it let us put to different numbers left we say 5 and 7 so it is showing that 5 is less than 7 so like that way you can use if else if else if else ladder for control of your code and these things will be required in our numerical coding whenever we will be moving to numerical actual numerical methods we will be using all those things and that is why we are teaching this so that you can have a control over this if else you uh, in the next lecture i will be telling you about for loop while loop do while loop and all the things will be required during our numerical calculations to uh, to have different aspects of uh, solutions like we, if we want to solve a differential equation if you want to solve algebraic set of equations all those things will be coming and those will be required as tools and that is why we are learning the tools so in this lecture uh, we finish it here and again i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates on this course and as well as other courses thank you very much